All right, I arrived at the Ranger Station parking. It's quite a little trip up this gravel road. And right next to it is this pretty little stream. My shuttle driver, Leanne, she says she's 15 to 30 minutes late because of some wreck on the road. So, you should see the wind's blowing pretty daggone hard. I am cold already, and I'm not even up in the mountains. I'm thinking about bringing this extra jacket. Parked over here. We'll be there for four or five days. All right, climbing up, up to the viewing, Clingman's Dome view. The last time I finished my hike here, you couldn't see a thing. The wind was blowing even harder than it is now and rain pouring. But today is a different story. Awesome. All right, just left Klingman's Dome. Little side trail to the Appalachian Trail. Here we go, Double Spring Gap 2.6. I'm not going there, but I am going northbound on the Appalachian Trail. White blaze. And the wind is high and it feels really cold. It's in the 40s, low 40s, I think. But the sun is out. If I can stay protected from the wind, it helps a lot. This part's really kind of a pretty part of the hike. A lot of alpine type forest here. Last time I came up the other side, it was coming all the way up to here. These ruts were just running like a river over my feet. It was fairly miserable. This has all the makings of a great hike. We'll see. All right, that's where I came from. And give you a little trail time. Going northbound, although the sun's kind of pointing at me. This is an easy part of the trail. There was a whole bunch of little rock scrambles down. A lot of little places like this that's not much but there were some steep ones with rocks where I had to use my my poles glad I brought them glad I wore my extra jacket today I wasn't going to I also have my puffy in my rain jacket inside my backpack backpack feels wonderful so weights down a little even though I've got four days worth of food 
This is more like a bunch of the stuff I just came down here. This is... I want to put up my phone so I can use my uh, hiking poles. So far, wonderful. It's cold, but now I'm heating up after all this. I've gone about two and a half mile, 2.7, something like that. Uh, it's quarter till 12. I took a 10 minute break, ate a protein bar. As you can see, this is beautiful. This stuff here is like enchanted, like an enchanted forest almost with all this bright green moss everywhere can see how these ruts get pretty deep from traffic I was coming up on the other side of the thing was full of water like a river not today my last trip that I had to quit all right back to the trail passed over this beach forest exclosure. This is approximately 20 special sites that have been identified for fencing against wild hog, a non-native animal. That's about a, it's a real steep incline. Look at all the beautiful flowers that are out. And goes up to, all right, I'm pointing up. I guarantee you that's a 45 degree angle at least. This has been work, a lot of work. It's a pretty view. Let's zoom in. Yeah. Can't appreciate it. All right. That's where I came from. And I'm now at Newfound Gap, one of the big parking areas. It's a place you can get off. So I've been 7.9 miles. Ah, oh, look at the view over there. Very, very pretty. We might have one over here too. Let's see, we've got a view of vehicles.
Okay, trail gets a little dicey here. I mean, just it's not dangerous. It's just, whoops. Uh, I think I need to stop. I got to use my poles. This setup is absolutely horrible. I had to do that because the shelter was all basically full. However, yeah. one of the problems is I forgot my air mattress. Really sucks. Right. Yes. That's all right. Just kind of capturing the moment. <laughs> Well, start of day two, unfortunately, this really sucks. I developed an earache in the middle of the night last night. It's still there. I've decided to, to bail. After only 10.8 miles to the shelter, I'm heading back to Newfound Gap, where I've got, uh, I did call this gal, Leanne, who's a shuttle driver, and she's going to meet me. I just, I don't, if I go any, if I go any further, there's no exit point at all for the next 20 plus miles, uh, about 25 miles at least. So with an ear ache and I can't hear out of my right ear, I think the best thing to do is to head home. All right, I got three miles back to Newfound Gap. I started about uh, 10 till 9, I'm guessing a couple of hours, should catch it, be there at 11. All right, well, maybe next time, third time will be a charm, hopefully. Second time, failed again. All right, I'm sure I took this picture on the way up. It's so beautiful. I'm on the way back, so I'm confident I took it on the way up. I'm getting close to Newfound Gap parking lot where hopefully my shuttle driver will be picking me up. It's kind of sad. My ear doesn't hurt bad, but it's stopped up still. Feels like it is. It could be just a wax buildup thinking the possibly the kayak trip and then leaving I did go swimming in the Swanee and I actually submerged my head which could be the problem we'll find out I'm gonna have to stop at some health clinic and have them check it out oh wow walked a little ways and wow 
maybe even more beautiful. All right, I'll follow this up with another picture. Oh, there's the, there's the road. So Trail Magic Group's been here for quite a while. A lot of through hikers coming through. This is Newfound Gap. Newfound? Yeah, Newfound. 